Jim Edwards here, MMALatestNews.com. I'm joined today by UFC featherweight Robert Whiteford. Rob, how are you doing today, my friend? Doing great, my man. Good. It's a good Scottish day. It's raining and it's uh, it's been snowing, so it doesn't get much better than that in Scotland. Yeah, um, obviously there's a lot of commotion at the moment with uh, the featherweight uh, title being somewhat in limbo, with uh, Connor moving out to 155 and it kind of stops uh, some of the other contenders at the top. What, what do you think about that yourself? Are you happy to see the champion of your division going up to a different weight class and kind of stopping the progression of the rest of the division? I mean, why not? The, the rest of the division don't employ him, you know, they're not his boss, they don't tell him what to do, so suit yourself in this game, you know, if it works for you, it works for you, fuck the rest of us, that's what I say, and he's lucky enough, he's in that position, he can do it, so who gives a fuck what any of us say or what any of their some say, he's doing his thing and he's going out there and winning, and hats off to him, you know, he came from the same place as we all came from, and he's went out there and done the business, and now he's moving up to the feather, uh, the lightweight division, going to take that champion out as well, I think, mm-hmm. so and fair play to him, you know, it's, he's, he's, doing it, he's doing it well. Yeah, is McGregor someone someone you kind of look at and kind of almost see what how you can progress up the division? So you almost want to replicate that. Do you kind of look up to him in a way? I mean, I never really look up to anybody. You know, mm. it's looking up to people is kind of personal, and I've not really had many of that people in my life that's touched me. So I don't really look up to anybody. But definitely, the things he's doing is fucking great. You know, if I could emulate that, that'd be amazing. Uh, but again, he, he never had a number 13 guy in his third fight in the UFC, you know what I mean? Or fucking a, a Division 1 wrestler that had been wrestling since he was 8. So, stylistically, he's, he's had great fights, you know, but they're still tough guys in their own right, and he's took them out. So, you know, he, anybody can say what they want. He's been hand-fed or hand-picked opponents, but, you know, he's done the business. So, I would just look, maybe like to get that kind of stylistic <laughs> matchup, you know, rather than getting these fucking guys like Elkins that nobody wants to fight. Yeah. I mean, what, one, one of the in vogue things, I think, at the moment is almost moving up and down weight divisions. You, you're seeing it, obviously, with Connor, but then, obviously, there's talk of uh, uh, Mighty Mouse Johnson, obviously, moving up as well. Um, like, is, is that something that you've kind of had a thought about? Would, where, where would you go? Would it be more down to the bantam weight, or would, would it be I mean, towards I could, lightweight? I could, I could definitely make the, the 135, you know, that's, that wouldn't be a hassle. I make uh, featherweight fairly easily. Mm. In the last 24 hours, I've got usually eight pounds to cut on it, and I can catch that no problem, but with IV van, uh, ban and stuff, you know, uh, would it be fucking beneficial for me dropping down to £135 and would I perform with the same, you know? I'm happy at the weight class I'm in. I know I can go out there and I can go for three rounds with any any of these guys in the world and, and, and I'm dangerous right to the end, you know? Would you sacrifice that and drop down a weight class and, and maybe not perform the, the same? I, I, would, I wouldn't like to do an injustice to myself and, and f- find out in the worst place in the world in the fucking UFC octagon that mm. that isn't my weight class, you know? Yeah. And then... Lightweight, I think, is just a wee bit too big. You know, these guys are monsters. I've trained with a lot of them over in uh, ATT in America. And the, the lightweight division, the guys are huge. Uh, even just walking around at their the normal weight, they're, they're generally bigger than me. You know, I walk around at maybe 166 pounds. These guys are maybe walking around at like 180s. So mm-hmm. I think the lightweight division is just a wee bit too much a step up for me as in size goes. Yeah. And talk to you about ATT as well. You said a minute ago you're back in... Uh... Uh, you're back in Glasgow, in lovely Glasgow, and um, so how much time are you actually spending in Florida at the moment training with those guys? And um, when, 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 when is it you will actually go, say before a fight? How, how early or late towards? Well, the end again, of the camp? it just it depends how, how soon I get the the fight scheduled. You know, if they give me ten weeks' notice, I'll go over there in ten weeks. If they give me six, I'll go over there in six. So. Uh, as in fights goes, it's just as soon as the fight comes through, then I, then I usually make my way to America. So I was lucky enough, I just got a fight scheduled today, so uh, I'll be heading there next week. So uh, and I, and if I didn't get a fight scheduled today, I would be heading there soon, maybe next week anyway. You know, just to kickstart the year. Uh, I was unfortunate; I picked up a small injury at the start of the year, grappling. I hurt my wrist, or otherwise I'd have been there a wee bit earlier. But yeah, you know, I'll be heading there next week and, and get the ball rolling. Any any exclusives you want to give us here, Rob? Anyone, yeah, anyone you want to talk about? Of course, I can't give you an exclusive. <laughs> oh, and the guy signing yeah. the dotted line, you know. I just hope he, I hope he's up for the fight. And I hope he makes it as well. So yeah, good stuff. I mean, um, obviously, when when you're out in Florida, do you ever consider moving yourself permanently there? Are you, are you happy with this kind of going from Glasgow to Florida and, and back? I mean, it's not the ideal situation, you know. I've got a girlfriend here. I've got my house here. I've got my cat here. Uh, my home comforts, you know, but it's just a sacrifice I see I need to make, you know, I continue to make the sacrifices to do things that other people can't, so mm. that's just the way the ball's rolling for me at the minute. Uh, would I like to move to America? Probably not. I love Scotland, you know, as much as it's shitty weather and everything else that goes with it. I just, uh, 
I'm a I'm a Scottish boy, you know, and I feel my most comfortable in that home here. Uh, I've got made great friends over in America and great training partners, coaches, you know, everything's great there. If I could move that facility to Scotland, mm-hmm. it would be it would be brilliant, you know. But yeah, I'm a I'm a Scottish boy, born and bred, and I, I love this place, so I could never see myself permanently moving there. You might want to bring the weather as well with you. <laughs> Actually, Florida's having rainstorms right now, and oh, right. probably not. They've, they've got a. They've got it worse over there right now. Hopefully it clears up a little bit next week and get myself in the beach in the you, weekend. You mentioned yeah. a minute ago your cat. Um, as I said, I've been looking on your Twitter and I was looking down the timeline. And I have to say I'm disappointed, Rob. I was expecting more of a hard man's Twitter. I saw celebrity big brother, Krispy Kremes and cats. It wasn't <laughs> wasn't what I expected. What's going on? Tell me. Uh, like my cat, Ollie, you know, he's my sidekick. Uh, he's been, me, been with me for five years now and honestly, I cannot go anywhere, I put them in the lead and I take them for a walk sometimes and the people in the village look at me like I'm nuts. Just lucky I can fight and they leave me alone. <laughs> uh, I've just actually had to kick him out of the room now. He was trying to chew in the charger and pull out the iPad but he's he's with me all the time. He's, he's like a dog, honestly. People can't believe uh, what he's like. He, he's he's one of a kind anyway. I go and hit pads in the gym and training. He comes in, sits and watches me. Right. Sometimes sneaks in my gym bag and he ends up at the gym. You know, he's, he's just he's a, he's a funny wee and then it just, just to finish, can you give us, um, just tell me, what do you want to achieve by the end of this year? Where where do you want to put yourself? I want to get in the top 15 by the end of this year, you know, I want two solid wins uh, in dramatic fashion. I just, I'm not talking about grinding people out, you know, I want dramatic wins again, I want to knock people out and uh, pick up some of those bonuses. So the top 15 would be perfect for me this year. I've got a friend's wedding that's going to stop me maybe competing three times this year, so Two wins this year will do me perfectly, set me up nicely for the next game. Yeah. Right. Thanks for your time, Rob. It's been absolutely fantastic. And uh, all the best. Yo, thanks a lot.